Hello, how are you doing? And uh, have you stumbled upon uh, this video? It's about uh, you're interested in ranking your website. Okay. By the way, um, my name is Sergio from uh, Avoid MLM Scams com so actually this is the easiest way I mean if you also want to learn you know SEO or you know uh, for your local search if you have a company or you just uh, planning to uh, build a website that it's uh, gonna rank I can show you how to you know I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna show you the things that need to be done in order to for a website to rank okay so let me share my screen and uh, continue with the tutorial or video whatever you want to call it so the first thing that we want to do is uh, to find uh, the keyword the keyword is the most important thing in order to rank a website it could be for your you know local business like I said or for a, a blog a website e-commerce or uh, whatever you want to build a website around you know well the website the website is uh, uh, it's uh, for SEO purposes, and in order for you not to do all the mumbo jumbo in SEO, just certain steps. Uh, I recommend WordPress. Well, Joomla is a little bit harder because you have to manually do all these steps. <coughs> but the keyword, the keyword, uh, what keyword do you want to use, or what? Is it a for a business, your local business, or just want to brand yourself? Okay. If it's for branding, you can create your 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 website, your title, or your domain. I mean, uh, it could be your name plus uh, whatever industry or purpose you're gonna build your websites for. You know, if it's for marketing, you could say that CarlosMarketing.com. Carlos marketing, you know, re so resources or stuff like that. If it's uh, just for, for any given keyword, which is uh, the best way to do it, or just uh, actually with your name on it. But we want to have uh, our domain with a keyword. Why? Because it's gonna have a little bit more juice on it, on it, because it's 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 a keyword that's been searched on Google, and actually it, it gives you more juice uh, to for SEO. Now, if you want for a local search, you don't need to have something very big or very specific. All you have to do is uh, your company name, the city, and state. Okay or what what defines your company name the city and state as your domain name well in order to find competition on google we're going to do something real simple just what keyword are you looking to rank for uh for example my marketing mentor right yeah it's an example This to check competition if you're gonna be able to rank uh, faster or not. If there's a, a chance of you ranking in the, <coughs> on Google, because if there's no results, you'll be uh, ranking within two weeks. If they, if you have results, if you it's already people ranking there for that particular keyword, it's gonna take you a little bit more time, but six weeks to eight weeks sometimes, you know. So. Competition, how to check competition. Competition is very simple to check. For example, this is my marketing mentor. I'm just gonna, Google's gonna bring my uh, a million two hundred fifty results in 33 seconds, right? That's, don't get panic, don't panic, okay? So in order to see or to decipher our competition, uh, actually a website that are you know using the same keyword, we just put it into quotations but uh that's not gonna be it you still need a little bit more stuff to really really go and deep down and see your real competition for example i put this uh, keyword into a quotations mark and it brought me to 3790 results but like i said this is not the real competition yet okay so all you have to do is just scroll down 
<coughs> and look here on the on the bottom where it says Google, the pages one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. Go to the last page. Okay, just uh, go down, go down to if it's 20 pages, go down 20 pages. Okay, if it's 10, go 10 pages. If it's uh, five pages, go the, to the last one. Okay, we want to see a real competition. Okay, so if for for example, this uh, keyword, which is an example, I don't really don't care about it because I'm not going to use it. This one has 22 pages already. And uh, here, Google showed me the exact results, my exact competition. Now, let's see if I can, you know, zoom it just a little bit, and you're gonna be able to see what I'm talking about. Here, Google is telling me my real competition. <coughs> it went down to from million two hundred fifty thousand results. I put it into quotation. It went from the thirty-seven hundred results. Right now, it went down further to 190 displayed in and, and, and this is what google is telling me in order to show you the most relevant results we have omitted some entries very similar to the 190 already displayed so my real competition is 190 uh uh websites using this uh it could be facebook it could be youtube linkedin whatever you know social profile whatever 190 results that's pretty good actually to be ranking for that and a keyword but what i recommend is for you to if it's under under 300 quoted searches you know if you go to the last page like i did right now i went to the 19 page and if it's under 300 you know keyword you know websites using the same keyword this one is only 190 which is a very 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 good for me if I was going to use it, that would be a very good uh, keyword. And I just have to go and research it uh, on the, on my keyword suggestion tool, which is gonna tell me the traffic, amount of traffic this keyword is actually uh, getting monthly, okay? So my marketing mentor, it has 32 searches. Traffic is uh, six if I get into the first page. It gets some traffic. Some traffic is good. I don't I don't I don't mind if it's five, ten, twenty. But I really recommend about uh 40, 50 uh uh searches a month or more. And you get into the first page, you're gonna be able to get at least it at least looking for the amount of 50 or less it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter we just want to uh go get in ourselves a domain for this keyword <coughs> which is very possible if 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 i don't have the domain as exactly as this keyword i don't mind you can add something to it something special something uh, personal and that come right and uh actually that's pretty good if you're actually looking for uh, your local search, this is where you're gonna be, for example, plumbing, Laredo, Texas. This is where I'm from, right? Plumbing repair, plumbing company, plumbing specialist, plumbing uh, certified plumber, licensed plumber, Laredo, Texas. You're gonna use your city and your state for your local search, okay? But there's another way if you cannot uh, actually, you don't need to have a website. Uh, uh, you mostly, more, most of the time, you people prefer to have a website. But actually, if I go to Google and I go uh, put in Spanish, uh, Plomeros, and Laredo, Texas, this is my result when it's going to show up. This is a uh, my website and this is my local search and my google my web my my page my business i mean uh page like like i say you don't need to have a website <coughs> all all you have to do is uh enlist it on google my business and verify it and you're gonna be up and running you see you see how it's to, to my right it's very nice right now if i do the different way you know 
for example, like this one, it's gonna show differently with uh, with my Google Maps, with Google Maps. As you can see, it's only me, my English and Spanish version of my local search. Uh, and this is very good because most of the people right now are using the smartphone and smartphones are the way to the future or the way doing business right now because uh, you can search and look and find everything through your phone. Now, going back to our website, to a regular website, we're just going to go and, for example, if I already had that domain, okay? So now I'm going to go to my website, which is I'm going to go to mine. And I'm going to show you what you need, it needs to be done. This is the real deal. This is the real stuff of SEO. So if you want to learn it, just click the link below and I can show you all the steps, everything, how it's done. And uh, actually, not only me, but uh, tons of people, you know, can show you this stuff, you know, and actually help you a lot with your website, local search, email marketing, PPC campaigns, uh, YouTube, uh, SEO, website SEO, website development, whatever. Whatever you need, we can do, okay? So, uh, this is my website. As you can see, my domain is uh, avoidmlmscamsonline.com. My title name is Avoid MLM Scams Online. Something that I tagline, learn the truth about multi-level marketing scams online and affiliate marketing, right? Now, uh, in order to give the proper direction of my website, it's going to be uh, the theme of my website, the, actually the, the topic of what I'm going to be talking about on my posts and my pages we go to dashboard. The first thing is to build your websites. <coughs> like I said, WordPress, I recommend WordPress because it's very easy to manage and easy, it's very easy to set up. So first of all, we need to uh, go into categories. That's the first thing that we need to, we have to be able to get organized, a website organized for the proper, you know, um, I have posts, articles, whatever we're going to put. We have to keep it organized, right? But also give it the direction that it it, it, it wants and that, 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 that I'm going to be talking about. For example, this one is uh, Avoid MLM Scams Online. And I put on one of my categories, it's a uh, good MLM product. It's talking about MLM. Uh, niche affiliate marketing. I also talk about marketing. And I also talk about scams. So I put another one as scam alerts. And I throw two categories that are kind of a, they're related to my initial term, which is uh, online, you need to build a website, right? So build a website. And in order to build a website, you need to research keywords, right? So here's my five categories. And I've been doing some uh, posts and articles and actually organizing wherever they need to go. That's the giving the, the 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 backbone or the direction of your website as a whole. You see what I'm saying? So now we go into pages. We go into pages, and also it has to be very relative to your theme, to your website theme. Okay, to so this topic, to whatever you're gonna be talking about on your website. Uh, avoid MLM scams online. Avoid multi-level marketing scams online. That's basically put a abbreviated MLM. So about, don't forget that. Avoid being scam online. This is another keyword that is related to my, my topic, my theme. Avoid MLM scams, another one. Getting started online, how to get started online. Is MLM good or bad? MLM uh, business model, MLM home-based business, MLM network marketing, MLM premise scam. Online marketing scams, online MLM scams, privacy policy, don't forget that. Scam alerts and type of online scams. So everything, all of these keywords are related to my topic, to my theme of my website, the whatever I'm gonna be talking about, okay? I'm gonna be focusing on the scams, online marketing, affiliate marketing, niche marketing, everything that has to do with online business, okay? So, you try to choose the keywords that are most relevant to your uh, title and your domain and your categories okay so this is 
to actually tell Google right away, boom, my website is about this, marketing, online, scams, affiliate marketing, stuff like that, okay? Boom, just right away. Now, the post. <coughs> <coughs> Every time I do a video, I start coughing, I don't know. I'm sorry. So now, the important things here is uh, whenever you are going to write a post or an article, you need to define where it is, where in what category is going to be, you know, placed. It has to be very relevant to the category that you have in your website because you don't want to put something that about talking about marketing and then have a category about it. You know, had to lose belly fat. Nah, nah, not like that, okay? We don't want to confuse the Google, okay? We want to be able to rank, and and we want to uh, for us to Google to see our website as a theme, the theme of website that it's about an online business, okay? Marketing, actually scams or whatever. So I'm gonna edit this uh, article, and actually I'm gonna be telling you what to put in the on the articles. Not it. Uh, Basically, what makes you rank is uh, content, quality content, and, and uniqueness of the of the content. That's what's gonna make the difference. The keywords, I don't really focus on the keywords. Just one here in the, on my title, and whatever the product is about it, you know, and just write naturally. <coughs> <coughs> Pros cons, whatever. I prelude. Uh, before you know my 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 titles on inside my article, I prelude what I'm gonna talk about on my next paragraph. Okay, so training to whatever you know. So uh, I recommend you to going over one thousand words per article, and don't focus too much on the keywords. The keywords, uh, don't worry about the keywords. Just throw it in uh, the first paragraph of your of your article and then just title and also on your tags you can put some tags here or put some tags uh over here you can manipulate this uh <coughs> this uh plugin which is an all-in-one seo and you actually here i recommend for you to take your time and put something that is going to come out in the search engine because this is what uh, the actually the title how it's going to look on your search engines if you know about webmaster tools and uh, structured data then you can do some rich snippets or you can do some uh, you can do tagging uh every article or your website or whatever to put stars to put a picture to put whatever you want to put or actually if if it was like a person a company you can do structured meta uh, structured data on uh, on webmaster tools through uh, doing it like like uh, if it's ranked on the first page, you can put a logo, your 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 social profiles and stuff like that to the sides, which that's more a little bit more advanced. <coughs> but this is just uh, the beginning of how to rank a website. Okay, just put your title. I really you you want to at least here uh, write something that is very interesting to the reader because this one is how you're gonna appear on the first page or the second page. On the or of the search on the SERPs search engine results page, okay. So, and the keyword, keyword here on your text too, and also your pictures. Your pictures have to be optimized. For example, I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna put nothing. I'm just gonna like if I'm gonna uh, add some picture, and I'm gonna tell you what to do. For example, let Okay, for example, if I was gonna put this uh, right uh, picture, I would write right here where my title. The title has to be the same as your keyword, as, as your keyword of your article, not as the keyword of your website. If it's about a picture about your website, then you put a keyword, the title, or whatever your website. Al alternative text. This is very important put also the keyword the same as you put it on this title, okay? Let me see if you can see it. So I can, uh, so you can see it better. Here, 
is where on my right hand side. Alignment, where you want it to be on the right, on the center. Link to, if you want uh, your picture to be linked to a affiliate offer or whatever, to your phone number or to your website, to another page on your website, you can link it here in the sites, okay? And then insert page, that's it. That's all I have to do. Just optimize it just a little bit and uh, and uh, and that's it. I mean, for your articles, you know, I mean, that, that's what you have to do. I mean, just break it into a segment so it's uh, very easy to read and understand and also prelude with uh, titles before, you know, so the reader can actually see what you're going to be talking about next. You see what I'm saying? Like, for example, this one, I have my overview here. And uh, it says, uh, Ernest Affiliate Scam or Ernest Affiliate Overview. What is a good product about, you know, an introduction, basically. Niche websites. Here I talk about niche websites. The pros, the cons, you know, the, the, this product. Who is it for? Who is it for? Is it for beginners? Is it actually for anyone? And it does have training and tools. I talk about training and tools. And also, uh, if, if it has support, I talk about this is for uh, actually if you're going to be doing reviews on products, okay? And how much does it cost? You tell them how much. It, and they summarize a review about the product, your final opinions, if it's legit or scam or whatever. I put this one is legit. And you have a call to action. Hope you get tons of value. You can always feel free to comment and leave your thoughts. And if you have more to add to this article, feel free to post it on the comments section. Good comments and bad comments are welcome. And this makes me make more clear and precise decision when writing more articles. And thank you for your reading. And this is me. And here I redirect. This is where I want them to go to. To actually go to my my about me page. And actually, this is where my links are going to reside. Uh, keep my links centralized in one spot. Don't be uh, putting your links all over your place, all over your website, you know? So this is basically how you get to rank a website. Easy. It's very easy. If you want to learn, like I said before, you can click the link below. Or if you want to learn more, if you already know some, or you want to learn more, I can show you via YouTube video SEO. I can show you tons and tons of uh, webmaster tools on Bing, on, 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 on Google. And also, once you have created your website, you don't uh, verify it right away on webmaster tools. You need to wait a little bit, at least about six, seven weeks, so you can submit your site map. Okay? So, this is the video I had to rank website or actually uh let me see what's the name of this video title um something about <laughs> website <laughs> what was my title uh well you get the point uh web website rank google the easy way okay so i hope you like it i hope you got tons of value and if you're interested in learning for yourself for your local company and get uh actually get more clients new clients and actually increase your local search and your business by up to 30 40 50 percent you can come in and click the link below if you like it share it if you don't like it don't like it if you got good comments comment good if you got bad comments or anything to add to this uh, video post it on the comment section and once again my name is sergio from avoid mlm scams online .com. thank you